Hello traders, welcome to our today's uh, weekly forex forecast video. Jean here from becomingtraderfx.com and in today's video we will review the major seven pairs and before we start uh, I want to go over the um, major trades we made uh, this week uh, so you can get an idea the way we approach the market. So personally and those are the trades I also shared uh, and trading ideas I shared with my uh, students. So all two trades were winning one uh, and one was we, uh, was break even actually. And uh, let's start with a uh, GBP US dollar. So the first one was the short trade here at the start of the week uh, on the 15th of April. So on the daily what we saw was this bearish structure. So we said we can look for possible short trading opportunities in order to uh, participate into uh, this potential move lower and continuation. So if you go to the 4 hourly time frame, uh, what we saw on the 4 hourly was this move on the Friday, market created a leg lower, uh, lower low was formed here and when the price started to retracing on the Monday and bounced from this discount area, we said we can look for a possible lower time frames market structure shift on the one hourly or 15 minute time frame in order to look for possible continuation and this trade or the four hourly time frame was uh, made in combination with 15 minute uh, chart so as you can see if i zoom in uh, we can see that we got uh, in the london session and new york session we got this market structure shift to the downside so as you can see in the london session market was moving higher creating higher highs then we had we hit that high of the day and when the price hit high of the day we move lower on the breakout to the downside we had also uh, lower lows as you can see and on the breakout to the downside we had also nice fair value gap zone confirmations as you can see here and there so we said we can look for possible uh, retracement when the market moved lower and retraced here to these levels in combination with the discount area we said we can look for possible a bounce so when the market bounce from the discount areas here for many times and move lower we enter that short and with the stop loss above the structure up here we were targeting the sell side liquidity the lows of the day here the target was here and it was as you can see achieved so nice one to one in terms of risk and reward ratio so if you risk one percent you gain one percent if you risk more let's say two percent you again two percent on this one so nice beautiful setup and the next one was USD cat don't forget that of course uh, on the four hourly there was of course many nice retracements but we didn't have any uh, confirmation based on our trading rules yesterday so we get we had this one uh, on the USD cat because uh, what we are looking for here is uh, we were looking for possible retracement, bigger retracement on the daily time frame. So the daily was retracing and we said we can look for possible uh, short trading opportunities uh, here because we had also the bearish structure on the 4 hourly. So as you can see all those previous lows were broken, market uh, moved lower, formed a lower low and then it retraced into this fair value gap zone displacement in combination with the discount area as well so if you use the fibonacci from the swing high to the swing low and market as you can see retraced exactly to the 50 percent discount area and already spiked there we said we can look for possible uh, lower time frames market structure shift to the downside in order to look for leg lower so we had this uh, setup on the one hourly yesterday and the first trade was break even because uh, personally uh, I closed this trade at break even before this leg lower and that's why I re-entered it uh, here as you can see we had the market structure shift at the start of the uh, trading session in Asian session we had this move higher we had higher low we had lower high here market broke to the downside in the London session we had this fair value gap zone displacement and as you can see we had also previous support turned into the resistance here so we had a discount area so if i use fibonacci from the swing high to the swing low 
market, as you can see, retrace to the discount area, retrace to the fair value gap zone, and also to this support and resistance zone. So market bounced, and as you can see, I entered it here. The stop loss was above the highs, the structure, and I was looking for one to one uh, in terms of risk and reward ratio a little bit more. Uh, so I was looking for this uh, sell side liquidity to uh, target the lows of yesterday and today's lows, and we had nice breakout to the downside. So this was also a nice trade. The first one was break even, I closed it somewhere here uh, because of the New York Open price started pushing to the upside and then it moved lower and I entered it, re entered it into this one and it was worth it. So nice, beautiful trade on the USD cat as well. So now you got an idea how we approach the markets on a daily basis, especially if you are not uh, my student and if you just follow me on the uh, YouTube. So now let's move on to the weekly Forex forecast video. We will start with Euro US dollar. So on the Euro US dollar we have bearish structure, but we, we have some uh, spikes here. Maybe we'll have bigger retracement here so this is something that we have to uh, watch for so what about the four hour structure as you can see now we have this support uh, we have some swing highs here and also some highs here so to be honest this one is kind of a not giving us a clear direction so what i would like to see is um, what i would like to see is if you check the uh, four hour time frame uh, i would like to see maybe a breakout higher a retracement into the discount area and then look for possible opportunities uh, to uh, look for new long trades here. On the other hand, for now we have this kind of a short term uh, swing low here uh, from yesterday, from Friday. So if we get like break of the downside, a retracement into the discount area, uh, then we can look for possible uh, lower time frames market structure shift in order to target the lows again. So this is uh, something that we need to be careful here when looking for euro us dollar because for now we don't have any clear direction we need breakouts and retracements into the discount and then we can look for uh, lower time frames in order to look for opportunities the next one is gbp us dollar a uh, beautiful bearish structure as you can see yesterday we had nice move lower and if you go to the four hourly we have bearish structure there as well so we had as you can see we had uh, first retracements are here into the discount area and now we had another leg lower so for now uh, as long as the price is pushing to the downside we need to be uh, patient what we are looking for is a possible retracement into the discount area uh, something like that and then we can look for lower time frames like one hour or, or 15 minute time frame in order to look for new shorts again so this is the plan for uh, GBP US uh, dollar then we have Aussie same thing as on the euro as you can see we have bearish structure but we had this huge spike made yesterday uh, price kind of uh, spiked at those previous uh, lows so maybe this is a sign of possible uh, retracement higher on the daily so if you go to the four hourly on the four hourly yes it looks short why because we have this swing high market moved lower and now it retraced into the uh, discount area as you can see on the on the uh, four hour time frame so if we go to the one hour time frame we can say okay if this range will be broken if price bounces from the discount area on the four hour and we see like setup here yes we can trade it we can look for short trades in order to target the sell side liquidity the previous lows but if this range will hold and if price starts breaking to the upside uh, breaking all these uh, short term highs above then we need new higher high retracement into the discount and then we can look for possible long so uh, be careful here watch for this uh, range here and based on this range we'll see how this pair will behave uh, in the upcoming week will we see here will we see scenario like that or we'll see something like this so this is the plan for Aussie then we have uh, Kiwi same thing daily bearish but we had this spike here on Friday so if you go to the four hourly yes four hourly looks bearish because we have this swing high, we have this move lower. Uh, using the Fibonacci, we can uh, measure uh, this retracement. Price bounce from the discount area here. And if you go to the one hourly, for now on the one hourly, we don't have any 
a market structure shift yet we have this kind of a, a range so we are looking for either breakout structure shift and then we can look for possible shorts or if those levels if this high from the four hour time frame from friday won't hold and we see like price breaking higher then we need new retracement into the discount and then we can look for possible long trades uh, after so this is the plan for kiwi beautiful charts beautiful price action so watch carefully stay patient use the cat daily is retracing as you can see so maybe two options either a bigger retracement continuation or a continuation to the upside in this bearish structural direction so if you go to the four hourly on the four hourly what do we have here it's bearish structure as you can see previous lows were broken price moved lower and now it's retracing so if we use Fibonacci we can look for a retracement into the discount area and then we look for structure shift on the lower time frames in order to target the lows that's the case if not we need to be of course uh, we need to see breakout above those short term highs here and then look for continuation higher using the lower time frames so beautiful chart here as well then we have used the daily still bullish beautiful reaction of on friday from those lows and on the four hourly for now the direction is of course a bullish bullish direction but for now we have this kind of arranging situation here so we need new high retracement into the discount and then use the lower time frames in order to look for possible long trades so this is the plan for usdn if something changes if price starts breaking lower we need to see this kind of a scenario the next one use the chf same thing daily bullish price bounce from the lows here we have also this fair value gap zone on the daily this displacement which is holding in combination with some previous uh, lows i mean highs here and if you go to the four hourly we have kind of a ranging situation we have all those highs we have the lows market is ranging in between so we need to see some clear direction here first so the current short term highs are up here so what i'm looking for is either breakout to the new highs or retracement into the discount and then using the lower time frames to look for possible continuation or we need breakout below the current lows and possible uh, move lower and possible daily uh, retracement here that's it thanks for watching and i wish you a lot of success health and we catch up soon take care